Hi guys, welcome back to our firm bus career with the basic economy where we are going to set up a route going out of our southern hub at Munchen. So we'll set up a new route and let's see what we can do. So we'll start at Munchen and let's do St. Paulton to Vienna. Might be quite nice into Austria. There's a rest area after St. Polton. I think we'll need a rest spot, so that should probably do it. Uh, this will be Route 11. Okay, so in the spreadsheet, we're going to need to set up Munchen to St. Polton, also Munchen to Vienna, and also, not forgetting people will get on at St. Polton, probably wanting to go to Vienna. Okay. So the entire route has a length of 492 kilometers. And now it doesn't want to let me go back to the spreadsheet. Let's just do that. Okay, 492 I said. Okay, 492 kilometers. That's got to be pretty expensive. So I'm going to make that 45.49 with the discount and 52.99 without it. Quite a big discount which encourages them to buy it in advance. Can't be a bad thing. Okay. Um, Munich to St. Polton is 396. Oh, I've done those one way round, haven't I? That was a bit stupid. Okay. So Munich to St. Poulton is 396. So let's make that 3475 and 3899. Then Munich to Vienna, which was 492, we can make 4549 and 5299. And then this last bit is going to be 96, isn't it? So that will need to be quite cheap. So what we will do is do 14.99 with no discount. That will do. So, set up the route. So it's going to be Munchen to... Vienna via St. Poulton. Okay, time is for the whole route, don't forget, 6 hours 21. It's quite a long one. Okay, I think it was 496, wasn't it? 492. Four nine two. Okay, so we had fourteen ninety nine, thirty four seventy five. Hoping the right thing. There we go. Thirty eight ninety nine. Then we had forty five forty nine. And 52.99. So starting at the beginning, they will buy either the mid-range one, or have the mid-range one, and then it will be also the longer one. So it's going to be those. The 14.99 doesn't come into play until we get to St. Poulton. It's fine. So let's do that. Just check it's pulled all those in. Yes, it has. That looks good. Let's check the route. 
Okay, so this I've got set to do every day other than Sunday. Let's say it also doesn't go on Wednesday. So it goes Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's a bit different, isn't it? Okay, that's fine. That's set up to go, I think. Uh, route list? Yep, that's set up to go. That looks good. Okay. Okay, so this is going to be a bit longer video because this is a bit longer route. So we're going to be starting at the depot in Munchen. Once it loads. <coughs> Get there soon. It's taking its time. Come on, phone bus. It really take this long. There we go. Birds are chirping. Okay, in we go. Destination display, Vienna, Vice and Poland, that looks right. Turn on the ignition, the engine, air conditioning, turn on all the clearances. like to get out of here but we'll see. Looks like we're pulling out onto a fairly main road so let's see how busy it is. Oh could be worse. Are you stopping to let me go? Thank you. Damn decent chap. Okay, that was handy. Don't get that very often from the AI. I like Munchen as a city, it looks nice. All the office blocks and what looks like a bus station over there and isn't. Not quite sure what it is, but looks nice. Ah yes, under this bridge, I remember this. Didn't this go down to a roundabout? Somewhere. A vague recollection of a roundabout in Munchen. Not here, this is traffic lights. look nice though. It looks like a nice day. Blue sky, sunshine. I wonder if it will stay that way. We're going to Austria. Who knows. Our first trip outside Germany. Thanks to the Schengen Agreement in the EU and all that, there's no border, no passport checks and all that stuff to go through, so that makes life easier. Maybe it's not mentioned that I had the roundabout.
Was it Cologne that had the roundabout? Can't remember. I'm in the wrong lane here. I need to be going straight on. Oh, there's a car coming down there. Oof. It's my fault. I got in the wrong lane. The right turn's not, the left turn rather, is not until further down. I could technically have sat there and gone straight on when the light changed, but I'll do it the right way and get in the right lane. Means I just got to wait a bit longer for the lights now, but there you go. We normally have plenty of time to get there and check passengers in anyway. I don't think that's ever really been an issue, so... Right, now I'll get towards the left-hand lane. Because I think this is the bus station just on our left here. I think it's the one underneath the rail station, isn't it? here and round again and you come to the stop. Well, if you wanted ideas for fares, there's several buses sitting around there that you could check out. Most of them have got fares on the back of them. Not sure how many different ones there are, but... Taxi rank there, but look at it. this guy. And there's my passengers. I'm standing there patiently. Hi people. Right, so we are going to need to know, are they going St. Poulton or Vienna? That's going to be the question. As usual, I'm going to do the ones who've got tickets first and the ones who buy tickets I will leave till the end. Oh, this rest stop is before St. Poulton. Well, I think there was one before St. Poulton as well, so that's okay. Anybody buying tickets? Hmm, can't see anyone. I don't think... Oh, yes, there is one over there. Okay, let's start with this guy. Right, he's going to Vienna. So that's one to Vienna. Is he on the list, though? Oh, yes, he is. Yep. You're okay, mate. Ah, St. Poulton. So that's one of each now. Okay, where are you going, sir? St. Poulton, that will be two and one. Madam? St. Poulton, that will be three and one. You don't appear to be on the list. But you're on there. So you'll do. Three and one. Three and two, Sam. You're there. St. Poulton. That'll be three to four and two, this will be, after Fiona. Okay. Scarlet, five and two. Five and three. Liz, thank you. Okay. Five and four. Robert. Okay. Hello, is this good? That'll be six and four. Andre. Yep. Thank you. Tag a ticket. Bitte schön. Seven and four. Marie. Hello, my ticket. Seven and five. Jewel. Thank you. Okay, so that's them done. So let's just populate our spreadsheet with seven people had those tickets and five people had those now there's one person wants to buy a ticket but they're not going where we're going anyway oh no sorry
So after all that, nobody actually bought a ticket, so we can go zero in there and zero in there, and then anything at St Poulton will be fourteen ninety nine, whether they buy it or they've already got it. Okay, excellent. Skip forward. Start the ride, and away we go, and we need to stop sometime before 2 o'clock. Now, I'm pretty sure, if I check the map, yeah, there's a rest stop, well, there's two, between Lintz and St Poulton. So when we go past the turning for Lintz, we'll then keep our eyes open for a rest stop. We'll go for any of them. The worrying thing is, if you look, there's... One, two, three, four, five, six. Altogether, we're going to go past seven lots of services, which means potentially getting stopped by the police for checks seven times. I hope that doesn't happen. Right. Okay. Off we go. seven lots of services I would think there's a good chance we'll get stopped two maybe three times there's not much we can do about it So it's quite a long route this one, so this video is going to be a bit longer, so I apologise for that, but we do need to sort of get into Austria. This is a good way to do this route, I think, so... Get out of München first. So the only person back there who wanted to buy a ticket wanted to go to Magdeburg. Which we couldn't help her with. So she needs a different bus and a different driver to sell her the ticket, I'm afraid. I like her reaction. Ooh, no. I'm oh, sorry, madam, but you got the wrong bus. What can I do? to Magdeburg. Take you to Vienna if you want. Okay, so... get out of luncheon hopefully it's quite a big city quite a lot of traffic lights and takes a little while to get out before we get to the open road how long have we actually got to do this journey six hours haven't we four hours to St Poulton hmm. At least on this route, you're not going to be short of rest stops. There's seven of them. Nice if you need a rest. Not so nice for potentially getting stopped by the police for checks. It could be happening all over the place. One would hope not, but... So it's good and bad in everything. Having the rest stops is nice if you need the rest, but it's not so great from the police stop side of things. Still, it will be what it will be. OK, 
Hey, Sarah, Sarah. It's literally translated, I think, means what will be, will be. Which is very true. Here we have yet another traffic light. This should be the last one before we get to the main road, hopefully. chance we can get going a bit. I hope. Maybe not if there's a load of traffic coming down there. Come on guys, you've got to be in to this traffic somewhere. This is not good news, is it? You have to go sometime, so... I'll do it now. The traffic coming down there could have been never-ending. There's never a really massive gap, but the gap was just about big enough to get out. to get our foot down a bit, I think. I've got to say, I don't know this route, so I don't know the junctions or anything going down here. So I've got to keep a very close eye on the signs and my sat now to make sure I don't go the wrong way somewhere. Not helped by the fact that neither of the places I'm going to are on the signpost. But I think we just got to head Salzburg way. We go past Salzburg and Linz, I think. I think they're pretty much all on the same road. You can go Salzburg, Linz, and Polton and Vienna all down this road, I think. might notice once we get into Austria, if you see police cars, you'll notice they look different. It does ooh, have different police cars for different countries. What's all that about? Oh, roadworks, is that what you're all having a problem with? Okay. Not sure quite why that would be such a problem, but somebody probably had to change lanes to get through the roadworks or something. It's not a very long set of roadworks, so it's not going to delay us for long. lanes are quite wide in these roadworks and the other ones before we had they were quite narrow. This was seen quite wide.
some services here without a rest stop. I don't see any sign of a police check here. That's one good thing. road seems quite noisy this one. I don't know if it's me but it seems a bit of a noisier road surface and a bit bumpy. Oh, another bus pulling out, Flix bus. on that sign Salzburg Innsbruck not available not available what's that about it's not available maybe it means Innsbruck's not available because that, that gets a lot of snow because that's a skiing area I think so maybe because of weather or something that road gets cut off a lot. Dunno. Very strange having a signpost not available. Plus it just means no route to that place. Well car just disappeared into nothing. But very strange. Okay. Vanished. Vanishing AI. Try and get past this bloke. With a bit of luck. So we're coming up on the first rest stop now. No sign of a police check that I can see yet. I reckon we need to go past the turnings for Salzburg and Linz and then look for a rest spot somewhere before 2 o'clock before we get to St Poulton. I think that's our plan. There's another one coming up. Services are frequent. My word. Need services that often? But you've got a choice. Not had a police stop yet either, so that's there's two of them out of the way. There were seven lots of rest stops I think I saw. Oh, he's gonna come straight out. Got me. I think we just crossed into Austria. I think that was the Austrian border. Be interesting to see if we see a police car now, because they should look different. I 
terms of different colour. I think they're green and white or something. I'm not sure. What's the Austrian flag? Can't remember. I'm feeling it's green, red and white, a bit like the Italian flag. Obviously in a different configuration. and Polton Vienna are all off to the right by the look of it. Oh nice scenery. The mountains, look at that, that's pretty. Oh I like that. Hill with the trees, and then in the background, all the snow capped mountains. <coughs> Very nice. Oh, yes. The Alps? Austrian Alps, I suppose? I guess. Not an expert on mountain ranges, but. Ginn's books in the Alps, isn't it? Well, they do a lot of skiing. Not that way. I've seen a police car yet. There's another services here. Say 60, the sun now says 100. You take your pick, really. Split the difference and do 80. And now it is 80. Oh, it's uphill. I suppose that would make sense. I think there might be some uphill stretches in mountainous sort of terrain. Which it definitely is. A few mountains in front of us.
big mounds in there. scenery I've got to say. Mist over the mountains as well. Long sweeping bend. We're uh, a little under 200 kilometres now from St Poulton. Not sure how far we are from Linz, but once we get past Linz, let's look for a rest stop. We've still got a couple of hours till two o'clock, and we have to rest before two o'clock. I sort of like to get as near two o'clock as possible, really. Anywhere around one o'clock or two. <coughs> Not a bad road though, you got to say. So far... I haven't changed the date in firm bus, it's set on 1st of June. I mean, I could change the date till... Oh, we've got a police check coming up, I can see the symbol already. Um, you could change the date to mid-December or something and see if you get snow. I wonder if you do. Makes sense if you did. Okay, there's a police stop here, but I'm not going to rest yet because I really feel it's too early. But I thought we'd do well if we didn't get a police check at one of these services. There were seven of them, so... Let's see if the police car does look a different colour. I think it should do. German ones were sort of white with blue writing. It's a long entry road to the services, my word. Halfway through Austria just to get into the services. There's the police car, white and red by the look of it, with a bit of blue. So it definitely looks different to the German ones, anyway. And they've got a fast food restaurant. All our passengers are wearing their seat belts. What good people. So there's the FF restaurant, fast food restaurant. Something like a McDonald's or a Burger King, I guess. I wonder if the exit is as long as the entrance. Yep, it looks like it probably is. No, not quite as long. Back to the road, anyway. I've actually got AI going by as you leave the services, my word. Okay, Linz. That's encouraging, that's what we want. We want to get past Linz and then rest.
Gratz. I've heard of Gratz. Regensburg is back in Germany, surely. Maybe we're skirting around the edge of Austria or something. Police. They're definitely different to the German ones. They move out. Okay, you're fast enough, I'll stay behind you. Fair enough with me, mate. And we're 130 odd kilometres out from St. Poulton now. So unless I see something to indicate we passing Lintz, I'm sort of going to assume we might already have done so. I didn't see a Lintz turn signpost, I don't think. Unless I missed it. Flicks bus on the other side of the road. He's running his service in the opposite direction. Okay, what have we got here? No, Lintz is still straight on, and St. Poulton. Okay. So I've not passed Lintz yet. I didn't think I'd miss seeing the turn, so it's obviously not that far between Linz and St. Poulton. And we know it's not that far from St. Poulton to Vienna, so once we get past Linz, we'd nearly crack this. Don't know how big a place St. Poulton is. I mean, Vienna's the capital, and the one with the soup, that's pretty large, but. Don't know about St. Poulton. No idea. St. Poulton straight on. So any rest stop now, I'm pretty much going to think about taking, I think. Cause I've got the feeling that's where you go off to Linz. We're only 100 kilometres from St. Poulton, so anywhere to rest now would be reasonable enough, I think. So let's see if we can find somewhere. What do these signs say? Oh, Lintz is off there. It was a rather large speed hump or something. What else was that about? And he took off there. So we're past, we're passing Lintz, which is what I wanted. So now I'm looking for a rest stop. And I think there were two more. At least one more before St. Poulton, I'm sure. It's just after one o'clock, so timing will be just about perfect if we can find one.
looks like we're going to be at St Poulton on time. Don't see any reason for us to be late at the moment. First priority is a rest stop, and I can't find one yet. I thought there should be one coming up fairly soon. Police stop. So there must be some services here. I'm not sure there's a rest stop, but if there's not, I'll do the trick with the petrol station. Oh, there is a rest stop anyway. Fine, we'll go in here then. Combine the rest stop with the police stop. So that's twice we've been stopped by Austrian police. And we haven't even reached St. Poulton yet. Said there could be a few out of seven services. I did fear the worst, to be honest. Your mate down the road did it, mate. Do you really want to do it again? Honestly? Okay, if you want. It's fine. Your buddy down the road's already done it. I wonder if they've all still got their seat belts on. Has anybody taken it off? Well, two of them are taking their seat belts off. Why? Strange. Okay. Okay, let's see this rest stop then. Hi. Take a break. I will. And it's done. Okay. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Excellent. You all here. Lovely. Let's get going then. Did the rest stop go away? Yes, it did. Excellent. So it's happy that I've rested. So we can go. We drop. As we had to stop there anyway for the police check, combining with the rest stop was pretty good news, really. Okay, now. How long have we got? We've got an hour to do 74 kilometres, so that shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't be. Oh, cows. A field of cows. Hello, cows. Whoops. Stop looking at the cows, look at the road. First time I've seen cows. 
Didn't see any cows in Germany, I'm sure. Didn't know it had things like cows. Don't think they were moving, but... Be like the famous concrete cows of Milton Keynes. Anybody from the UK will probably know about them. Anybody who's not from the UK, there's a city called Milton Keynes, and for some reason, in a field, just on the edge of Milton Keynes, there are, I think it's three, or possibly four, black and white cows made of concrete. And don't ask me why. No idea why they did that. Sure there was a reason that somebody decided to put concrete cows in a field just outside Milton Keynes. something to do with milk production or beef production or something. Who knows? Who knows? But anyway, there are cows in Fernbus because I just saw them. They weren't moving around or mooing a lot that I could hear. But they were there, minding their own business. weren't on the road, I suppose that's the main thing. Herd of cows on the road wouldn't help anything, would it? That might slow us down a bit. Imagine getting stuck in traffic waiting for a herd of cows to move themselves, that would be quite funny. Imagine it on the road up to the hotel, oh my god. I never see deer on the way up to that hotel, but I should be grateful because they could be in the road. And that could be even worse. More cows. Some of them are black and white this time. Is Austria big on cows? Do they have lots of cows in Austria? Please. Red, white and blue. So you can see the police cars are different in different countries, which I think is quite cool. I think it might be Switzerland that's got green on the police cars. Possibly. Not sure. Got a vague recollection of green on police cars from somewhere, so... Unless it's Euro truck and it, truck and it was in... Prague, Czechoslovakia, or Poland, or something like that, it could be. And then you drive through many more different countries and see lots of them, I guess. St. Poulton is off to the right. Down here, it appears. The Austrian language must be close to German. Do they speak German or is there actually an Austrian language? Because the sign is still said Ausfahrt, which is German for exit. So maybe Austrians speak German, do they? Or is it which is very similar? I don't know. Okay, so this is St. Poulton, theoretically. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, um, so this is St. Poulton. Doesn't exactly look like a big city, does it? More like small town, I would say. A 
bigger than the village going up to the hotel, but I would say more like a small town. Or maybe a reasonable size town, but not quite a city, I would think. How are we doing for time? We're 20 minutes to go and only 6 kilometres to do, so we've done alright. In fact, we've done very well for a road I didn't know. It's not bad. Cafe house, coffee house. That's a local Starbucks or Costa Coffee or something. Where the locals go down to have a cup of coffee, I guess. And we've got to go right here by the look of it. Oh, that's traffic light, okay. I quite like St Poulton, it's quite nice. I don't know what that is over there. Some sort of distribution centre or garage or something, but... Okay, so we've got to go right here. Ah, oh, the stop's here. Okay. I'm not going to argue with that then. Oh, yeah, look, it's town square with the benches and everything. So this must be the sort of town square. Okay. Out you get people, those who want to get out, those who don't, stay where you are. Okay, so anybody, whether they've got a ticket or buying a ticket to Vienna, are going to be paying the same rate. Würzburg? No, we're not going Würzburg. Oh, no, well, sorry, but you, mate, are correct, Nevio. You're fine, that's one. Vienna, Safira, that's two. Ciao. Let's try over here. Um, Amma Jürgens, that's three. Yuna, that's four. Danny, that's five. Guten Tag, fahren Sie in meine Richtung? Uh, Linus, that's six. Oh, where else we got? We've got this lady over here. That's seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh, so everybody except this person at the back who wants a ticket. And he wants a ticket to Vienna. Excellent, sir. Just give me one second. You're welcome. Peter Schoen. Okay, so ten had tickets and one bought one, so that's eleven. And they're all the same rate. So we should now get an idea how much money we are going to make or not on this route. Oh, we're going to make loads. Slightly more than the last one. Ten cents more than the last one, if we're on time. Okay, let's see if we can get there on time. Are we ahead of time? Yes, we are. And it was only 96 kilometres, wasn't it? So it shouldn't take us long either. Can we get out of here? That'll be the first question. Will anybody let us out of here? Probably not. The AI doesn't do that sort of thing as a rule. Come on, let a bus pull out, guys. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Come 
on, somebody let the bus pull out. You know, I heard the letting buses pull out. Not even the police will let me pull out. That red car stopped. Is he going to let me pull out? No, even he's moving forward. Come on, guys, somebody let me pull out. And none of you going to let me out of here. Am I going to have to bully me way out? I daren't do it in front of a speedy gooey. I'm indicating and everything and you're not letting me out. Not one of you. He stopped back there. He's going to let me out. Well done. Thank you, mate. At long last. Finally. Oh, it's a roundabout. We've had cows, roundabouts, a bit of everything in Austria. Coffee house. Nice little town. Quite like St. Bolton, I must say. It's quite pleasant. That's the town square again, but from the other side. Another roundabout? Yes, another roundabout by the look of it. They're quite big on roundabouts. That's like beating Milton Keynes as well. Right, we could really do with these lights changing. How long have we got? <laughs> You're getting on towards an hour. Which ain't going to be long enough if we can't get out of this place and on that main road pretty soon, to be fair. At least we can get across there. That's something, I guess. No more police stops will help. We surely don't need to do it anymore. There's the coffee house again. They are quite big on their roundabouts. Got quite a few. And this is the way we came in. More traffic lights. You can try the B green or change to green. Pretty soon. Oh, look, they just changed to green as we approach. That's handy. And we can go out there, I think. I think we can safely get out here. Ignore that box that just came up. For some reason, my email does that. It keeps popping up boxes when the email comes in. I can't stop it. It only does it with some emails. It's really annoying. They're usually junk, as that one is. All that will happen is that will get deleted. It won't even get read, I mean, it'll just get deleted, so... The old days you used to get loads of letters in your post box that were complete and utter rubbish and you threw them in the bin. Now you get it all in your email instead. People trying to tell you something. That's actually from a company who um, let places and I recently moved to where I am now and I don't propose moving again unless I really have to. I had to move last time because the building I lived in got sold. I was renting a flat in the building and it was sold so I had no choice but to move out. It's what in this country they called a section 12 notice but I think they've been abolished now. The government said they were unfair and 
What's that noise? Do you know, I think it's the cows mooing. I think I just heard cows mooing. Or maybe I'm hearing things. Did anybody else just hear what sounded like cows mooing? If you're watching this video, go back a couple of minutes, play that again and listen very carefully because I think there were cows mooing. Or I've completely lost the plot, which is very possible. If you did hear cows mooing, please post a comment saying you have not completely lost the plot, there indeed were cows mooing. Because that will convince me that I'm still sane. If nobody says they heard cows mooing, I'm going to be fairly convinced I'm completely insane. And a number of people would say that's not a surprise anyway, so there you go. Right, how close are we getting? Not very. Not really. Actually though, we've got plenty of time. I thought we were... I think I misread the time. We've got over an hour, I think. I think we're okay. Unless I'm misreading the times, I think we're okay. Mind you, then, if I'm hearing cows mooing and they're not, then anything's possible. There may be little hope for me from hearing mooing cows. There may be little hope for us if we can't find Vienna. Because Vienna's a pretty darn big city. And I'd have thought we might see some signs of it before too long, because according to that, we're only 30 odd kilometres out. You'd have thought you might see the skyline on the horizon, but I don't see anything except some hills. But one can only assume it's down here somewhere. No more cows at the moment, so I'm safe at the minute. I can't if I hear mooing now and there are no cows, then we've really got a problem. then I really have to start questioning my sanity. Wouldn't be so bad if I'm hearing mooing when there are cows, but if I'm hearing mooing when there aren't any, that's a bit more serious. And mislaying a city the size of Vienna is a bit of a problem. So hopefully it's going to pop up in a minute. I thought I thought there'd have been some sort of signs of a city by now, because we're only 20 kilometres out. And 20 kilometres ain't far. Ah, oh, hang on a minute, this looks more city-like. This looks a lot like a city. Very encouraging. And no cows, which is even better. Oh, what on earth is that? Could be a university or something. Quite a big building, whatever it is. Okay. vienna has got quite a big university, actually. It's a bit of a seat of learning, I think. That looks like a bus station. I'm guessing at that because there's buses in there. See, there is logic to my thought processes here. There are buses parked in there. Suggests to me that's a bus station and I can see a marked stop for us to go into. So I'm fairly confident that's the bus station, people. Oh, and I need to be in that lane. Oh, that's a problem. No, I don't. I need to go straight on at this one. Sorry, people. Confused. Don't know Vienna. First time here. It's all right. Don't worry, I'll work it out. He's straight on at this one and left up there.
Too many junctions, sets of traffic lights, bloke who doesn't know the city. Add it all together, and he is cows. There's no real hope. Other than we can get down here. Then there might be some hope. But not as the traffic's at a standstill. Come on, guys. Whoop, steady on, mate. Well, considering it's a route I've never driven before, and I didn't know the roads or anything, I think it's not been bad. We haven't had any accidents, we haven't been caught speeding. Have we? No, I don't think we have. Don't think we've had even a light accident. I don't actually think there's been anything negative about this route, really. The only negative now could be being late. And that doesn't look likely because we've got 50 minutes to do 9 kilometres. So I'd say we're going to be well early, if anything. Which is really shocking for a route I've not driven before. But hey. I just don't think I've driven this before. I certainly don't remember it, let's put it that way. Quite looking forward to the France DLC. Be quite nice driving around Paris. That could be a bit of a nightmare because Paris is pretty busy. Not that I have a lot of experience of driving in Paris, but the rare occasions I've been there, it's been pretty manic. Around the Champs Elysees and all of that. shopping area, cafe or something by the look of it. Tables and umbrellas outside, one assumes that's a cafe or restaurant or something. I quite like Vienna, I must say, this looks quite nice. The city's go, doesn't look bad. It's a big old block of flats in front of us, if that's what it is, unless it's an office block, but pretty large. talking about the blue coloured one to the leftish. There's one in front of us which does look like a block of flats which ain't that big. It does look like flats to me. Alright, this is that bus station I spied. Now where the heck am I supposed to be going? Uh, this looks like it's going out. This does not look like it's going into the bus station. How does this work? Clearly I've got something wrong here. Joy. How can this be? I just followed the room and it brought me here. Now I don't know what's going on. Did I just take a wrong turn somewhere? Where can I turn around? I really don't want to get on a motorway. I'm le leaving Vienna if I go down there. I don't want to do that. Ugh. Oh, wonderful. Sorry, guys, but I'm going to have to try and improvise something here. Don't like doing this, but I'm going to have to try and improvise something. Because I've really screwed that up somewhere. I don't know how, but. All my no accidents, there's going to be one in a second now, isn't there? <laughs> but my only hope is that traffic stops like him. 
and lets me try to resolve this complete pickle that I've got myself into. Don't move, people. Don't move. Don't move. I'm coming back that way. Don't move. Be nice. Let me just work this out. I'm going to have to go up the curb. It's the only way I'm going to do it. Right, sorry about that, people. I don't know what happened there. I don't know how we ended up going in the wrong direction. I really don't know how we ended up there. We still managed to do it without a crash, but I really didn't like doing that, because that's... Right, so I came down here, didn't I? Oh, I can see what I did wrong. Ah! Yeah, I can see what I did wrong. Now, we might still be on time with a stroke of luck. If there's any luck at all, we might still just do it. All that light's on green, let's get across there. I know what I did wrong. I'm going to have to go back round the block. I know what I did wrong. In my defence, there's too many orange lines on the sat-nav. That's what confused me. Easily confused. And I was just saying how well it was going. But, I think we've got out of it. All I need now is this light to change. Come on, light, please change. Come on. Come on, come on. You know you want to, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, flip a neck. We've still got 26 minutes. Should still be alright. We're a stone's throw from the bus station. Ah, oh, here we go. We're a stone's throw from the bus station, and I know exactly where I went wrong. And why. Which is always encouraging. Okay, so what I did was I followed the sat nav around here, which is what you're supposed to do. I went up here to this junction, which is what I was supposed to do, and I turned left here, which is what I was supposed to do. Waited here for the light to change, which I was always also supposed to do. When I went round here, I went down here, and then I got it hopelessly wrong. Because if you look at the sat-nav, there are orange lines going in all sorts of directions. And I turned right here. But that orange line to the right is the line that we came in on. You're supposed to go straight across here. So that's where I went wrong. I went right here. And I shouldn't have done. And now I look at the sat-nav, it makes perfect sense. But there are orange lines going left, right, in all directions. If those orange lines went away and you only had the one for where you're supposed to be going, it would be fine. So I should have gone down here, because this is the bus station, he says confidently. Yeah, this looks like a bus station. Next question is, how do I get round there? And I guess I've got to go up here, and there's a turnaround point somewhere. Certainly looks like it on the sat nav. All the buses are facing this direction, which is an encouraging sign. It suggests everybody else has come up here in this direction, so it's always a nice feeling. So where was that stop down here? Okay. So it appears they want me down here. So passengers, I'm sorry for that small little diversion thing but the 
thing that matters is we are yeah, we're already there. Well, yes, we are. We would have been here even earlier. Key thing is, you're all there. You're all in one piece. you got your bags. You should be happy. Ish. Excuse me. Auf Wiedersehen. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right, result. So, even despite that little mess at the end, we were still on time. So we still made our 242 euros, which is cool. Okay, so that's that done. So next time, we'll have to get ourselves back, excuse me, back to München from Vienna. So I'll see you then, and we'll do the return. Bye now.